Hey there YouTube, it's Math Bowler. This video is going to have a whole bunch of Pittsburgh Pirate team issued photo cards or post size cards or postcard size cards or something along those lines. But um, I purchased some at Baseball Card Castle that I like to have and then I went back and asked if they had more and he had a whole box full of them that he had purchased. So I went through them and I bought some that I do not have in my collection. So I wanted to go ahead and show you what I picked up, especially if you're a Pirate fan. There's a good mixture of newer-ish players and older players and people in between. I also purchased some more online I was able to find for a real good deal. So went to Baseball Card Castle, picked up 24 of these. And realistically, it came out to about 3 bucks per. So got an Andrew Lambeau. This is like in order of least favorite to favorite out of all of these. Next up, you had the third base coach, Tony Beasley. I did not have any of his, so I actually ended up picking up two different ones. This one's a little smaller than 4 by 6 I'm going to call it, let's say, 3 and a half by 5 Same thing with the size of this matte caps. I already have one, but I want another because uh, Nick Leva's on my cool side for a while. There's Nick Leva. He was pretty good for the Pirates during their kind of crappy years. Craig Wilson. I like how it's listed as catcher, infielder, outfielder for his positions. We've got Al Martin. A little bit tougher to see that. He's a fast guy. Oliver Perez. Ollie was a pretty good pitcher for the Pirates. Man, he struck out a lot of batters. Then I picked up four. Lanny for Terry. In my notes, I had marked down that I had three different Lanny for Terry's, and I knew one of those weren't in this pile, so at least two of these are not part of my collection already. So that means two of these are going to be doubles, but that's all right. I'd rather just get them all, especially knowing I was getting a good deal for them. Those of you that listen to the Pirates, very familiar with his voice. Well, probably about, from about 15 years ago and older. Alright, I actually picked up two of these, but that's okay because he has passed on Nelly King. One and two. All right, this guy was a manager of the year with the Rangers. I believe they just parted ways with him this past season. Jeff Bannister, former Rookie of the Year. I think he was Rookie of the Year. Not with the Pirates, though. Don Schwal, 1971 World Series first baseman, Bob Robertson. Oh, this guy was a World Series Game 7 winner. <laughs> Charlie Morton. I already have two of these, but... The autograph on this one looks so nice. I went ahead and got that one. Probably end up donating one of the ones at some point. Mr. 7 for 7, Rennie Stennett. Also on two of the Pirate World Series teams. 1960 World Series Pirate, also Rookie of the Year. What I liked about this one was the Rookie of the Year inscription. 1955, Bill Verdon. Recent World Series MVP. Oh my goodness. Steve Pierce. I know I have this one, but I wasn't going to pass up a second one of those in my collection. And I found one of the smaller versions. Vern Law, who was the man in 1960. 1960 World Series and World Series winner Vern Law. And my last one from Baseball Card Castle. This is a tough guy to get autographs from. He does not like autographs. Former pitching coach, former rookie of the year, I believe, or Cy Young, I can't remember, 1982, I believe, Pete Vukovic. And the autograph actually looked pretty decent. That's not his nice autograph, but that's pretty cool. That was an awesome amount for my collection. So then I got just a little more to show you here. I got four more and then four more after that. So this was an eBay purchase. I picked up these four for a total of $10 shipped. The old cardiac kid, Mike Williams, had a really good, I think it was a slider that Patriots had, a, or Barris had a really, really, really tough time hitting. And that's pretty much all he threw. If Barris could lay off of it and just make him throw for strikes, he was tougher to 
it was tough for him to get outs, which made him the cardiac kid, because he could get people out, but uh, just depend on plate discipline. Uh, John Smiley, he won 20 games for the Pirates back in the day. Here's a Game 7 winner, 1979, Grant Jackson, 1979 World Series champ, Game 7 winner. Then I saw this one, he has passed on Nelly Browse. I believe he was on the 71 team, 1971 World Series player. Then I picked up these four for $20 um, that was shipped. Seems a little bit like a lot, but when you see the one at the end, it's cool. I do not have this of Kevin Young. He's a good guy. Former All-Star. I think he led the league in stolen bases at one point. Tony Womack. That was cool. I've got quite a few of his, but I do not have this one. Greg Brown. I enjoy his enthusiasm. Wonderful announcer. Really enjoy him. And I saw this again. I thought, oh my gosh. Another one. Hard to get his autograph. He doesn't like signing them. Guy never, Pete Vukovic. All right, folks. I want to thank you for checking out my channel here, checking out my video. Mostly pirate videos, but I do have some other stuff every now and then. Feel free to give the video a like, comment, and subscribe. Take care, everybody.